Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing some artwork for the BE Day. Um, I do have a little helper today, this is Jay, my little boy, not so little. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be recreating some artwork, um, basically of what um, someone would have looked like when they're on blackout. So blackout was when large cities would have all their lights out in their houses, um, in businesses, factories, things like that. Um, so that way when um, the enemy planes were coming over the top, they couldn't see where the cities were to be able to bomb them. Okay, so we're going to recreate a blackout picture for you. Okay, so the materials I'm going to use is so I've got I've got a canvas here, but paper is fine. Okay, so you're going to need something like that. I've got some masking tape simply because I've had to tape over a bit. I'll explain that in a moment. If you haven't got any, don't worry, it doesn't matter. We can find another way of doing it. Um, so I've got an old dish sponge here. Okay, so we're going to use the sponge side for this. Um, I've got some black paint, some yellow paint, and some orange paint, okay? I've got some paint brushes, and I'm just gonna use this plate to pop the paint on. Now, I do realize not everyone's gonna have some paints at home, okay? So Jay is going to do one using his felt tips, okay? Which um, I know a lot of people have now got felt tips because they would have had them delivered in their art packs, okay? So let's see how it goes. Okay, so starting with mine then, so like I said, I've used some masking tape. Um, what I've done is I've tried to create like beam, so it looks like light shining up into the sky, okay? So there's been spotlights that have been put onto the plane, so going down from the land up into the air. So um, we've popped um, some tape on, so it's narrow at one end, it gets bigger at the other end, and I've done two, so they cross over, okay? So we're going to do something similar here for Jay, all right? So... Um, I'm going to just use the flat edge of this, okay? If you've got a ruler, great. If you haven't, a book or anything will do. Okay, pencil. So, Jay, do you want to draw from down this bit here? That's right. Up into the sky part. Brilliant. Then we're going to make it so it's like a beam going up, okay? So, draw along that edge now. Boy, well done. Okay. Oh, we're still into the thing back. Right. Okay. And then we're going to do the same going up from this kind of angle. Okay. So, Jay, can you draw a line along that edge? Yeah. Okay. And all the way up to the top. That's right, keep going. Fantastic. Okay, and then we'll do it like that. You know, go along that edge there. Brilliant. Okay, so as you can see, we've now both got our beam lights going up into the sky. Okay, so we're gonna first put on some orange, okay? So we've drawn a line across for Jay, and he's gonna fill in these bits. So make sure you leave this V shape free, okay? Because that's gonna be white, all right? So he's gonna fill in the extra bits with his Sharpies, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm now gonna use sponge with some orange paint on, okay? And I'm basically going to sponge the top half of the picture, okay? like so. All right, so it's gonna be like a sunset type color. That's what we're gonna go for. Like that, okay. How's your coloring going? Fine. Good stuff. Right, okay, so. It's got quicker got orange. Thing, right? Painting and sponging a lot quicker. Right. Still okay. So, we're sponging that across like that. So, make sure it's nice and orange. And then we're going to slightly change the colour in a minute. Okay. So, we're now going to add a little bit of yellow to our orange. Okay. 
We get the yellow paint and we're going to put a blob of yellow in there and then we're just going to blend the orange and yellow together okay let's make it a slightly lighter orange all right once we've got that color we're then going to do this and stamp it a bit further down <coughs> paper or canvas whatever you're using okay so keep working across and adding the colour. Blending it in, like so. Okay, so once you've done like your orange and yellow colour sponged, okay, you're going to start sponging in the yellow. So with Jay over here with felt tips, what we've done is we've done another line a bit further down. Don't go all the way to the bottom with the yellow because we're going to do some black buildings, okay? So if you colour in that section of yellow, all right, but make sure you leave your bean lights free, okay? And I'm now going to sponge the yellow. You can go a bit further down if you're painting, okay? Flat down flat. Right. Right, so you can be colouring your yellow in this stuff. Okay. So you're gonna go quite low with the yellow because we will eventually paint over with some buildings in black. So, this is what you're gonna end up with. Okay, add a little bit more yellow into the orange part. So, a nice sort of like blended sky, okay? So it's going from really bright orange down to yellow, okay? So you can keep working on this for a while till you get the colors that you actually want, all right? But the main thing is with the painting one that you allow it to dry, okay? You need it thoroughly dry before we start the next step. So I'm gonna pop this to one side um, and allow this to dry fully. Okay, and as you can see, Jay's now coloring in the yellow on this side, making a good job. Can we do other colors? Yep. So if you want to do other colours, that's fine. I mean, you could do like a midnight sky, which would be quite cool. So using um, dark blues, blacks, you can basically, what you want to do is start with your darkest colour first at the top and then gradually make it lighter, okay? So if you didn't do a midnight one, you could start with black at the top, then go down to a dark blue, then go into a lighter blue. I think if Jay wanted to do that, he's got lots of felt tips here of colours that would probably work quite well. So that would make a nice midnight sky. So really, you can use any colours you like. It's gonna look just as effective. Okay, so I'm still waiting for my canvas to dry, okay, the paint. Um, Jay has made a lovely job of doing um, the yellow part of the sky. So now we're gonna draw what they call the skyline, which is basically um, like a black outline of buildings, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so for our skyline, so, um, I'm gonna show you the outline, okay? So this is gonna be on your picture at the bottom, okay? Particularly like if you're coloring yours in, okay? So we're gonna do a London one, all right? So we're gonna do um, Big Ben, okay? So if you start a little triangle type shape like that, okay? And then turn it into a bit of a, a box, there we go, if that makes sense. And then a narrow line, it's like a bit of a rocket really. Okay, so we've got a big bend in it. So this is all gonna be black, okay? So don't worry too much. Um, and we're gonna draw some other random buildings, okay? Around the sides of it, like so, okay? So it doesn't matter how you do it, what kind of shape you make them, just whatever you can put together, okay? 
Then we're going to have uh, the bridge, okay? So what I'd suggest is if you do uh, M type shape, so like that, okay? And then just make it 3D by doing a smaller M under it, like so, okay? Then um, we're gonna do the same thing just here. So a big M and a smaller M on the inside. And then we're gonna join these two buildings. So we're just gonna do a black line across them. 